What is going on, YouTube? Um, today's video is on quadcopters. Yes, it's about my T580P Plus that I was selling with the NASA. As you can see, I have it apart. One, because I wasn't happy about the motors or the propellers. They were out of balance, so out of balance. Some would start up, some wouldn't, like, if I hit the throttle, it wouldn't spin right away. There was just something wrong with these motors, and I think I just think they suck. And um, these propellers that come on the T580P Plus, they're just so out of balance. And I don't know if you see it on this one, but like in this area here, it'll be all cracked. It's just it's horrible, and you just get so much vibrations, and there's no way I was gonna sell it like this. So um, I end up buying new motors. Yeah, I've heard of Roto. I think they're uh, Japanese make. They're Brussels motors. They're 770 kV. They handle up to 3 to 4 cell. Um, they're very powerful motors. Um, here it is right here. What is it? 2814 motors. Uh, you, you will find these on multi-copter websites. They're very good. I heard it's got a 6mm shaft. Blam, blam. So, um, what I wanted to do was to put these motors on this quadcopter, which was, um, quite impossible. I'm looking for something because this was the motor holder on the, the motor mount on the T580P Plus, and there was no way in hell I was going to fit this, fit that motor on this. So, thank God I am a machinist. And I milled myself some motor mounts. You're gonna love this. So I kind of took their their make, and I modified it. So I took a block of aluminum, and there you go. Not sweet. Yeah. Freaking awesome. I used 440 tap screws. I tapped a hole, so I got 440 screws in there. They use mil uh, mil uh, metric, so. Kind of sunk uh, the holes in the back. Put a half inch hole. I actually have a video of me making these kind of. I did some pictures off my phone. Yeah! Alright, I'm modifying uh, motor mounts for my quadcopter. Here it is. Just remade in my CNC machine. Some it. Yeah. the end mill. I'm packing with a three eight ten mill. I'm going to come up. Then going to go down and make a uh, half inch hole. And then it should be done. A little clean up here, going around. Come up, done. How fast? Throw it off. And that's it. This is my modified motor mount for my squat copter. This is out. fully made at work. I was at work last night. I stood an extra three hours last night to making these. And here it is. This is what it looks like now on the shaft. How freaking awesome is that? I made it a little thicker than the stock, so it's more solid. And um, the, the wires go right in. Oh, I was just so excited. Like I did such a good job on it. I stood. I programmed it. Look how thin this is. Look at look how cheesy this is. Are you kidding me? Get the hell out of here. This thing is gonna be rock solid. This is gonna be. The only T580P Plus out there that's going to have this. You will not find another one like this. And I will probably end up selling it. So I'm going to finish this now. I'm going to put everything together. Why everything? I got to resolve. No, no. Yeah, I got to resolve connectors on my tips of my motor. You know, I got to put new bullet connectors on. Um, 
So once I'm done, I'm going to do some fly tests and then, you know, I did put a lot of work into this and I might sell it. So I was selling it in the past, but I decided not to because I just couldn't sell something for that much money that it's just, I did not let, like the way it was running and I'm not the kind of person that will uh, sell something for six, seven hundred dollars and it runs like crap. So I figure I redesign it. Throw and I spent two hundred and twenty dollars on four motors. These motors are fifty five dollars each. So I I spent two hundred and twenty dollars on new motors for this freaking thing. So I'm in a lot of money and a lot of time. I put a lot of work into these motors. So I had aluminum blocks milled it away. You know you stand it up. So I'll show a video of that. Yeah, I did screw up there. See, I punched in the wrong number. Well. I was rushing this morning, so um, 7.062 to do uh, circular turbulating with a half inch end, with a 3 8 end mill. I put 0.62 instead of 0.062. So um, well, that's what happens when you rush. You mess up. You're not supposed to rush. So, but it still works. It's fine. I'll still mount the motor. So, but that's it. I just want to show you what I was doing with my uh, quadcopter. It's freaking awesome. And I'll have upcom upcoming videos on this. And if anyone's interested, maybe buying it, throw me a message. Alright guys, peace out.